All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at a figure I've been really, really excited for. This is the Bandai Tamashii Nation's SH Figures Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the movie. This is the ultimate Gohan superhero. <laughs> Just reading the titles as they are on the box. But yeah, a lot of super and superheroes in the name here. Uh, this is, if you have not seen the movie already, this is the Gohan from the new movie coming up soon for the U.S. It's already out in Japan. I already saw the Japanese version. All in Japan with no subtitles, so I had no idea what they were saying, but I had to see what was going on before I got spoiled any further because people are jerks and they like to post spoilers all the time. So before Dave Vonner got around to spoiling it, I made sure I watched it. Here's a quick glance at the side, and then here is the back side displaying the figure in various poses, and then here is the other side there. Nothing crazy. If you guys are interested in ordering this figure, you can do so at Big Bad Toy Store. Links down below in the description. I think it's only 40 bucks, man. Pretty cheap. I think it's worth it. Let's check them out. Oh, baby. Let's get this thing started. So here we have Ultimate Gohan from the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie out of the box. And this thing is as good as you thought it was. It's as good as the pictures show him. It is definitely the best one out of the superhero movie batch of figures, which started with Piccolo, then they released Goku, and then Vegeta, and now we have pretty much the main character of the movie, which is Gohan. Gohan and Piccolo, I guess, but um, but yeah, this is exciting, man. This is an awesome looking figure right off the bat. Man, Tamashi is, they have Dragon Ball down to a science at this point. On top of that, this figure is super cheap, super affordable. It is insane. Initially, it was $34.99 when I pre-ordered my copy on Big Bad Toy Store, and they since raised it to $40. I'm assuming because of the amount of people that <laughs> are buying it. I don't know. They, You know how Big Bad Toy Store works sometimes, but it's still a deal at $40, but at $34.99, dude, for $35, bucks, this figure right here cost me 35 bucks from Hasbro for Star Wars The Black Series. And this is all it comes with. What you see here is what you get. Look what you're getting. I mean, an SH Figures imported figure. Plus, we do get some accessories, so let's take a look at that. All right, so here's all of his accessories. We have a total of four pairs of hands. There's three here, of course. We have the pair of fists on the figure itself, so that's the fourth pair. So these right here are for your blasting, I guess, posing when he's blasting an effect. And then here we have, uh, I guess this could be used for blasting as well, but these are more of like a grabby type of hands where he's about to grab somebody or grapple someone, if you want to say. But those could be used for blasting as well. Uh, before we get to the faces, the last uh, pair of hands are the martial arts posing hands, I like to call. And there you go. Of course, we got the pair of fists on the figure itself, as I mentioned. And then we have the two face plates. So we get our yelling face plate here. Very, very nicely painted and sculpted. Looks great. And then we have our kind of angry grinning face here. Looking really good. So those are your two face plates. And then we have the, the third one on the figure itself. Of course, this is the neutral state. We'll take a closer look at that uh, in a bit here. And then we have the pair of fists. Alright, so closing in on Gohan here, you can see his third face plate up close. It's the neutral state. As I mentioned earlier, looks just like him. Looks great. The hair sculpt looks awesome too. I think this is a new one. I don't know if this is a reuse or not, but I think it's a new one. And this is when he is ultimate Gohan, of course. Because in the movie, when he is regular Gohan, his, he's got a different hairstyle. And I think they make a point in the movie about his hairstyle and it is different and what's interesting is that Tamashi is going to be releasing that normal hairstyle with the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 figures we got that normal hairstyle we got the glasses coming we got the piccolo cape coming as well as the Super Saiyan head sculpt those are going to be add-ons for the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 figure words figures so if you grab those uh, then you have some extra accessories for this Gohan so I think that's super dope. A lot of people complained about it, saying that they took away accessories from this release. Yes, I think that is a valid point. They could have added it with this one and made the figure, I guess, 50 bucks, 60 bucks. It would have been more expensive. But maybe people didn't want those accessories and wanted a cheaper Gohan. I don't know which way would have been better. But best believe if it was included with this Gohan, it would not be a $35 figure for sure. Um, but the fact that it does come with those Gamma figures, and those figures are about 60 a piece, 
and I was gonna get them anyways. Um, yeah, it's worth it for me, man. I, I definitely love the fact that we're getting those extra pieces, and those are some pretty, pretty hefty big pieces, I think, in my opinion. All right, so let's continue on with Gohan before we get too carried away. Here's the torso. The sculpt looks great. Everything looks good. I have no complaints anywhere. Uh, so far, I feel all the joints are very tight as well. We got the new shoes here. These are the same thick boy shoes that Piccolo has for the uh, figure arts that we reviewed earlier this year. And um, I'm, I've grown used to it. It does seem odd, but I've grown used to it already. It's not a big deal anymore to me. That's just the way it is in the movie. For whatever reason, Akira Toriyama wanted to give him new looking shoes, thicker shoes. I don't know. Not a big deal. Here's the backside. So there's your up close look. Let's take a look at how this guy moves. All right, so the head is going to move up about that high. He looks down about that low. Uh, we got the swivel going left and the right. Also, I love how tight everything is. The head movement is not loose. Head tilting is there. Overall, everything that we know to expect from figure arts. The neck is a separate articulated piece. Then we have the arms going forward. We have this sleeve here, which is a little different. They normally have the sleeve being a plug-in on the back, and this time it's just a wrap-around loose piece that wraps around his shoulder socket. So you can pull his arm out and move it around. And once you kind of pop it out, then you can move the arm up. Now at this point, it's a little angled, so maybe try to rotate the arm piece. I don't know, it's a little difficult. This is a little weird, and if you go too far, you will pop off the arm. So if anything, yes, the arms are a little hindered to be honest so looking this one goes up i mean they do go up but then they're at an angle so it's just a little weird i don't know you guys let me know down below do you prefer this design or do you prefer the design that pegs in on the back of the shoulder um that does not uh, really hinder it too much but overall uh you can still move the arms and it's not terribly terribly bad uh in and out about that far here and we get bicep swivels. We have a double jointed elbow swivel at the wrist with a ball jointed hinge. Then we have the torso going forward and back swivel, also tilting a little bit. There's also a waist swivel. So overall, there's your torso articulation. Legs are going to kick forward all the way up. They go back down. They go in and out pretty far. He does the full split um and then also he doesn't really have that like underwear looking crotch breakup joint if that makes sense they they went a little different here with gohan and i like it uh then we have a thigh swivel double jointed knees that bend all the way back and go back down look at this i mean it looks great too when it's, once it's bent on the front side uh, and then the ankles are gonna hinge forward and back we got the rocker at the foot we got the swivel at the ankle there, and then there's the toe hinge. Very nice. Right, so we'll start the comparisons here with the Great Sandman. And this figure released quite a bit ago, and it definitely seems outdated now to today's standards. But it's still a decent figure. It's a good Gohan, but it's not a great Gohan like this new Gohan here. It's crazy how when you get a new sculpt and a new figure, um, you really don't see how outdated some other figures look until you put them next to each other like this so this great salmon also came with a base form gohan head sculpt which i was not a fan of i never even displayed him with it so here it is right here let's take a closer look at it you could just see what i was trying to refer to earlier just something is clearly off about this gohan it doesn't even look like him to be honest i don't know what went wrong with this i was never a fan of it before and i'm especially not a fan of it now but I think we got our definitive version of this Gohan. Look at that. And here we have an even older release. This is the base form Ultimate Gohan that released a long time ago. And it is extremely outdated now. They actually re-released this as a redeco and the event exclusive. I think it was a, two years ago or so. I'm not sure um, at this point. But... Um, but yeah, this is very, very drastically different than the Gohan we see today here on the left side here. You could just see the face sculpts. I mean, it almost doesn't even look like him on the older release. Uh, so definitely am hoping that we get a updated 
orange gi ultimate gohan now that we have this new one here on the left side and here is our little teenage gohan here this is an even older release we're just going older and older as we <laughs> compare these gohans but this was the initial manga version with the uh, more bland colors and it did not have the anime colors until the san diego comic-con exclusive release of this figure here all right, so here's Gohan next to his real father. We have Piccolo, and this is based off of the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. Uh, so these come from the same uh, kind of batch of figures for the movie, and they look great. You can just see how Piccolo towers over Gohan, um, and they're all both sharing that the new thick boy uh, Tim's on the shoes there. But overall, the, the colors on Piccolo is a little bit more saturated. It's a lot darker for sure. Um, and it looks great. These two look real good next to each other. And here is Gohan next to his biological father. We have Goku. This is from the superhero movie as well. And this is one of the best Goku figures made thus far. If you missed out on my review on this Goku, be sure to check it out. Uh, it's, a, it's a great figure. Another $35 cheap. Very inexpensive figure. Hell of a deal. It's a steal. Both of these figures are steals. Do not miss out on these superhero wave of figures. They are fantastic. And then, last but not least, we have him next to the Prince of All Sands. We have Vegeta. And you can see how he stands shorter, as he should, since Vegeta is the shortest one of them all. Alright, so in terms of head swapping, if you wanted to get this new and improved head sculpt on the Great Saiyan body, it's a little difficult. You might have to heat it up or something, but the peg is bigger than the peg hole, so it's not going to fit. And also the skin tone doesn't match. I don't think you want to do it anyways. The uh, the skin on the, on the neck just isn't the same. But if you manage to get it in there with some heat, it'll look okay. I don't know. Seems like it's a little bit of a bigger scale almost. I'm just trying to get it to rest in there so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it would look like. But I guess you could pull it off. It's just that skin tone really bugs me. So maybe it won't work out. There you go. That's the best I could do. It's just sitting there very lightly. But you get an idea. And just to show you the contrast, this is the actual head that comes with this great Sam and body. All right. As for the original release of Ultimate Gohan, this is the old 1.0 body mold. This head does not fit in there either. It's sitting on there loose. So you can lay it on there floating skin tones again do not match it is a better face sculpt than the original one but it just looks too weird and odd on this body and one more here this is the sand raised on earth goku body mold and it looks okay again it does not fit it's like barely on there just like the other ones um and the skin tones don't match once again but if they did then it wouldn't look too bad this is probably the best one out of the three I just attempted. I definitely can see them making a Ultimate Gohan 2.0. I think that's probably what they're gonna do and why these don't fit at all on anything I tried to put this head sculpt on. It might have been done intentionally since they might probably be releasing one in the future. I don't know, it's just a guess. All right, and last but not least, here it is on the superhero Goku body. And again, super loose. Coincidence? I don't think so. I think they are going to give us another Gohan, but uh, does not fit. But the skin tones match damn near perfect. So if you want to fudge it, finagle it, put some tack in there to hold it in, whatever you want, you can pull it off on this body. Again, this is the uh, Dragon Ball Super superhero movie Goku body mold, and it works pretty darn well in terms of uh, you know skin tone and you know just the overall look. So, only thing that's weird is, of course, he's wearing Goku's clothes. Alright, and you've just witnessed my review to what might quite possibly be one of the best Gohan figures ever made. And one of the top figures of the year. This is a, a, a certified banger in my book. Do not miss out on this Gohan. Everything you've heard about it is true. It is just as good as it looks. It is phenomenal. One of my favorite figures in the collection so far what a great go on figure if you enjoyed let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts hit the like button while you're down there and subscribe if you haven't done so already as always guys take care take it easy and i will catch you on the next one bye
Thank you.